Hello, I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. It's B-E-X-X -X with Black Whisper Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me. And I am going to do a tag. So I am going to make a tag for hashtag tag your turn. Okay, Stay Stace tagged me for tag your turn. And today I am going to use my little coffin template. All I'm going to do is get the straightest side. Have my template already. Just going. Let's go at this end. Boy, I'm a mess here for some reason. Here we go. Okay. Let's see. Yes, I did all of them over. And I'm going to cut out more than one at once. These are just single tags. A lot of times I like to make cards with the coffin shape. And you can cut that on the edge. There's a thought. You can do that. But I'm not making a card today. It is tag your turn. And I was tagged by Stay Stace. So let me get this one. That's another piece for another time. And here's some more scrappy, some more little scrap thing. So I have two tags here. And what I'm going to do is I have a bin here and I don't throw away my coffee. I'm gonna call them toffee dye because it's tea and coffee. My toffee dye papers, I don't throw the scraps away because I use them to back things with. So this could very easily, whichever side you don't want to show up, just back it there. So let's just glue this on there. And I already have some done just because we already have some done. <laughs> let's go with the same one that we had. Just use that side and just backed it with some toffee dyed paper. And I'm going to go ahead and start with inking the edges. I just like to do that. Sometimes I do it afterward too. I just love the grungy look. So let's do this real quick. I know, it makes the camera move every time I touch that. Try to be more gentle. You don't realize how rough you are or how much you make things move. Love it. And this is a ground espresso. And I also like to put some black soot on there so I can use black and brown things. That's just my preference. Just randomly put some black on there. I have my little scraps over here. I always keep my little tiny scraps because I they're great to fill little areas if you have a teeny tiny spot and it's just like, oh, that's not working for me. Just tuck a little scrap under there. I know I want some music on here. And of course we need a black doily. Let's see, there's a number. You can't really tell it though, like that. Let's see. And this, of course, is going to be back style. It's going to be a little creepy. So I think that's kind of creepy, chasing the kite. <laughs> I don't know why I think it's creepy, but I really do. There's some little advertisement. And what is this? A scrap. Oh, that's some toffee dyed magazine paper. Moon Garden Collection. Moon? That sounds good. And have an image to be my focal image. So let's see, what do we need to put down first? What do we want to do? Layers, love the layers. I wanna put that on first. You know, I'm going to this side. This is the side we're doing. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't glue it on that other side or I would have had to put another piece of toffee dyed paper over here. We just did that, that's the side that you can what do you call it? Journal on, write on. 
put your own twist on it. Do we want to put that on the bottom? Yeah, let's go ahead and glue this down real quick. Going to actually put some glue stick. Let me see what area I need it in. Just about there. That way, if I don't get glue on all of that, let me try that again. If I don't get glue all over this, I know that there's some glue that will catch it because I don't want to use our glitter glue all the way around this because it just makes it tear apart if I rub on it too much to try to get it to stay down. So we'll just do this. And then when you're putting things on the top of it, you don't need that much glue. Let's see. Awesome, where's my little scraper at? There we go. There, that's awesome. That works great. And let's see what order I want this to be in. That there. Let's see. Hmm. I like those words. Let's just, uh, you know, pull this apart and see how big this is, and then we'll do according to the rest of it. And I want to tear this. I like that creek torn look. Ooh, very nice. How about we ink it up with ground espresso? So let's see. Here we go. How about some black on there too? Yeah, you can just there. I like that. There, very good. Awesome. Ooh, that looks cool, doesn't it? That looks really cool. Okay, let's see. We want this to go all the way over there. So let me cut this out real quick. Sunny's just playing in the background. She's fine. She's having her big time with her little pink soccer ball. She's kicking around everywhere. <laughs> that was funny. There we go. Awesome. Let's get some glue on this. Perfect. Love it. That will go there. See now that pattern looks great with this, but just all by itself. It was just didn't I didn't have an imagination enough to to think to uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do with it. <laughs> I think those old advertisements the people just look creepy as creepy. <laughs> I don't know about you. They just look kind of creepy. Yep, that's what we're going to do. We're going to glue that right down that there. That'll look great. Let's snip this little part off here. And not that a lot of this is going to show. It won't matter. It's layered up. Just layering things up here. There we go. Awesome. Get the big picture here. 
Creepy little kite kids running around down there. I think I kind of like it up there. Let's get... don't want to get rid of any of the kids. But I do want to tear it off here. Just a bit. Let's see if that will fit. Yeah, I kind of like that. Got me some words going on down there. Oh, here's a number. Oops, see if we can get it off of that domino. Yeah, that'll look pretty cool. Okay, let me stick that on the side there. Let's get these little kiddos inked up here. There, over that guy's head. I just keep layering it up until I get what I want. And I put my focal on last so that it is on top of everything. I'm sure you all know all that. <laughs> okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? Do we want any of this creepy stuff on here? Ooh, that might be cool. Or do we just want a little bit at the top? Just kind of round it up a little bit, kind of. Just a little bit of interest. That's cool. Yeah, that's a good layer. I can cut these corners off a little bit so it will fit down in here. Yeah, I like that. Let's do this in black though. Everything. No, it's not. Kind of right there. Whoops. That looks great. That's what we're putting there. Just the number three. Perfect. Here we go. Now we're getting there. Awesome. I really like that. Really, really like it. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, let's get this little skull on here. That is awesome. Let me hold it down here for just a moment. And I will tell you again that this tag I'm making is for hashtag Tag Your Turn. It is hosted by Carrie at the Paper Monkey. And I was tagged by Stay Stace. It was very difficult to pick someone else to tag because there's so many awesome channels out there. But there is one that I watch every single video that she puts out because she's so fun and she tries a whole plethora of things and I just love to watch Alex with a bullet for my snail mail is who I am tagging 
for hashtag tag your turn. Alex with a bullet for my snail mail. Go check her channel out. She is amazing. Amazing. She tries some really, really awesome things. And she tries them on camera and shows you. And it's just so cool. I just love it. And she is so fun. I just, if I need a lift, I will go watch Alex's um, videos. Because she's so fun. And she's so inspiring. And I really, really would love to see what she creates for hashtag tag your turn. So Alex, with a bullet for my snail mail, is who I'm tagging for hashtag tag your turn. Hosted by Carrie at the Paper Monkey. And I was tagged by Stay Stace. There, I think I've held that down long enough. That is so cool. Look at the texture, though, behind the skull. It makes the skull look really gnarly. Makes it more Beck style. Love it. That is so awesome. I think it turned out really great. Let me get the lid back on this. I have a curious kitten over here, and we don't want her getting her nose in that. There we go. Okay. Awesome. So let me trim this off a bit here. Just a tiny bit. And let me get my black out because that just looks like it needs some inspiration on that edge there. I think this black soot will be just the ticket. Perfect. of it. There. Awesome. Looks nice and creepy. Perfect. Get some lids on some of these things here. Thank you so much for joining me. My messy little mess I have going on and my crazy cats are always in the background. I try to make my videos when they're asleep. But it's like, turn on the camera and here they come to wreak havoc. I don't mind though, as long as they're having fun and they're not hurting themselves. Okay, so we need a, probably we could use any one of those scraps. Let me get the largest one. Kind of right there. That looks like a good spot. That looks like a good spot. Yeah. Just going to tear some of this off. I want it to be more gnarly than... I want to Beck style it. A little more. There. That probably will be too long, but that's okay. We'll just trim it off. I always use a little bit of lace or something. Now this is my coffin shaped Beck style tag. more scraps for later. Here we go. Is that not awesome or what? There we go. Coffin shaped Beck style tag for hashtag tag your turn hosted by Carrie the paper monkey and I tag Alex with a bullet for my snail mail and Alex I will put all the information below that Carrie provides so you'll know exactly what to do 
And thank you so much for joining me. And I can't wait to see what Alex creates. Alex did a bowl for my snail mail. And thank you so much. I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. Have a wonderful day.